All right, this video is going to walk you through how to find the missing angle of a right triangle when given two sides. In this problem first, to begin, you have to first of all identify what is the hypotenuse. In this case, the hypotenuse is directly always found directly across from the box, or the 90 degree angle. So that 8.6, that's your hypotenuse. Next, look at what you're working with. We're working with the theta, which then the opposite side is directly across from that. In this case, the opposite side does not exist. And then the adjacent side is the 5.7. So what we're really looking at here is the adjacent and the hypotenuse. From here, the next thing you have to do is identify what function you're going to use. So you have to know something about Sogatoa. The word Sogatoa spells out the three functions, where sine is the S is equal to the opposite over hypotenuse. Again, we don't have an opposite side, so therefore I cannot use sine. Ka is the cosine part of, the, of this, of the, of, of, is the function you're going to think about with adjacent and hypotenuse. And that is what we're given. So this is, an, this is a cosine question. But last of all, to rule out tangent, it, tangent involves the opposite and adjacent. And again, you don't have the opposite side, so therefore tangent will not work either. Cosine is the only one with adjacent and hypotenuse in it. So therefore, you're going to use this formula here that would help you find out cosine. Cosine of any angle in a right triangle is going to equal the adjacent side over hypotenuse. But now when you're trying to find the angle instead of this problem, we have to do the inverse cosine. So you're going to use this formula. Angle is equal to the inverse cosine of your adjacent side over your hypotenuse ratio. Then from there, as you try to put that into the calculator, you're going to pull out your calculator here, and you're always going to press second, and then one of these functions to actually find angles. So you're going to press second cosine, which will then give you this inverse cosine of the negative 1, as you see in both places here. And then you'll put in your adjacent side, 5.7 and your hypotenuse, 8.6. And as you do that calculation, you'll get 48.49 degrees. Make sure you know how to round properly. That's basically all you have to do to find missing angles. Again, using the second button, and then these three functions to find the missing angle, depending on what ratio, ratio that you're given. Hopefully this video helps, and good luck.